Hey, my name's HJ. This is about to get super personal, but I do believe that when we pull from our weakness, other people can find strength. I am just going to share it in truth and in honesty. I think a lot of it comes from me just being uh, emotionally undisciplined. Um, I also am discouraged extremely easy. Um, I get in these moods and these modes where I just don't want to get up. I sit around, I do the bare minimum to get by that day to say that I did something. Or some days I just want to sleep all day, all the time. And it's not always even for a particular reason. Sometimes I can have a reason like I feel unaccomplished in this area and then I'll get very depressed or I feel un discouraged in this area so I get very depressed. Sometimes I don't know why the heck I'm depressed, I just am. But sometimes it feels like there's no reason at all, I just am and tell you it's something that I work on and I battle in my life. And it's something that I'm continuing to grow in this area. So I'm not depressed 24-7, 365, but it does come to me in spouts. There's been great people in this world who've accomplished great things that have battled with depression their, enti their entire lives or for a large portion of their lives. And so don't think that you can't be somebody or you can't accomplish anything because of it. I know it's really easy to believe that, but don't believe that lie. And a practical tip, some are, they're gonna sound so simple and so easy, but let me tell you, if you're not a person that's ever battled with depression, things that are the most simple and the most easy can be so difficult to you in that moment because you literally feel like mush. You feel like nothing. You feel like the most downcast rain is just only over your head in that moment and nobody else is getting rained on and it's hard to pull yourself out of that. So while these are going to seem super simple, if you do battle depression, you're going to know what I'm talking about. And so try to keep these practical tips in mind. Taking a shower. We'll start with that. Just get up get out of bed, take a shower. Sometimes I want to sit in bed all day long and I want to pull the uh, curtains closed. I want it to be dark. I want to just be sad and depressed. I don't know, but I literally have to tell myself, no HJ, get up and take a shower right now. Like you need to get out of bed. You need to get ready for your day. Take a shower put on makeup. I'm not saying you have to do the whole nine shower, hair, makeup, nails, day. I'm not saying all that. Just get up and take a shower, put some clothes on, get ready for your day. That will help you tremendously to start working on your daily goals of whatever it is you have to do. Okay, speaking of goals, set goals. So it's really hard to desire to accomplish something to begin with, but it's even harder if you don't have a clear picture of what it is you're trying to accomplish. It could be the simplest thing as you're a mother with children and a husband and your goal is to get up and make them dinner and do the dishes afterward. Or I'm going to get up and I'm going to go to the post office like I said I'm going to be doing the past four days or I'm going to get up and just like fill in the blank with whatever you need to do in your life. It could be as big or as small but just set goals for yourself because it's hard to accomplish, especially when you're depressed, whenever you have no clear picture of what it is you're trying to accomplish. So yeah, that's a really good one. Also, let as much bright natural light into your eyes as you can. Cause like I said, you wanna sit in the dark, you wanna sit in the gloom. I love when it's rainy, I love when it's gloomy. It's weird, it's just like you like gloom. It's like you wanna be or really bad but you need to be tigger you know what i'm saying <laughs> so you just need to open the curtains let the light in don't sit in a dungeon of a bedroom or a dungeon of a living room let the light in let your eyes soak up the light and that will kind of like it helps me at least and i'm not a scientist i'm not claiming that 100 percent. whenever you let in the light you will get up and not be depressed anymore and that's not what i'm saying it just brings something into you You're just like okay i can get up so yeah take a shower Turn on the lights, turn on the lights. And again, if you have never battled with this, this is gonna sound so silly to you, but I promise these work for me. Okay, so this one is super good. And it's funny cause this could technically be a physical one or a spiritual one, but count your blessings. Think about all the things in your life that are reasons for you not to feel depressed. I have an amazing husband. I have an amazing family. I have a great God that I serve. It can be the smallest thing or it can be the biggest thing, but literally sit in your mind. It helps too if you write it down. 
just go go for it thankful for this I'm thankful for this I'm thankful for this I'm thankful for this write it down write it down write it down and meditate on it think about it because it's so easy when you're depressed to be consumed with everything that is making you feel downtrodden that is making you feel disheartened that is making you feel worthless that is making you feel like nothing that is making you feel sleepy that is making you feel tired like the list goes on anxious all these things if you focus on that you're gonna be that you need to focus on the things in your life that are there to encourage you and uplift you and bring you joy and you can start to um, change your mood that way. That's a way that you can just be disciplined with your feelings because we do have control over our feelings. So we need to, to the extent that we can in that moment, try to move our feelings into a positive direction. Yeah. Okay, so this one works for me, I mean, I'm not saying it works as in like, oh, it just cures everything, but it does help me a lot whenever I turn on encouraging or upbeat music. For me, um, I like to listen to music that is like double time, that is like funky beat, or just makes you kind of want to dance because I like to dance, right? So it comes on, I'm like, hey. Uh, 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 uh. Or encouraging music that maybe the lyrics are encouraging you to be joyous to be encouraged, to feel loving, to feel loved. And yeah, whether it be the beat and the sound and the feel of the music or the words of the music, don't sit around because I know you want to because I know I want to sometimes sit around and sulk and listen to the saddest music. It's just like a shovel that's digging your hole even deeper. You need to put on some encouraging music. Trust me on that one. Do that right now. Do it right now. Just have a good encouraging friend that knows about your depression, knows about you know what triggers you, and they will know and they will not allow it to happen. They will encourage you to take control of your feelings, to help you pick yourself up off the ground when you feel like you cannot pick yourself up. My friend is <laughs> my husband Roman that I have been so graced to marry a man that he knew this before we ever got married. He will talk it out with me. He will say, what's going on in your head? How are you feeling? What are you thinking? And then he will encourage me with the truth. Well, you're believing a lie. This is not true. This is the truth. Um, this is what we have to do. Encourage me to continue just living my life and reaching goals and getting out of bed and taking a shower. Are you reading your Bible? Are you praying? And he will just encourage me in so many ways that I literally would just fall apart without and I know that God put him in my life specifically for that. Like he picked the most amazing husband for me. Thank you, God. I'm having such a realization moment right now on camera, but yeah, he is the perfect friend for me. Now, if you're not married and a husband is an option for you, that's fine. Pick a best friend, pick a counselor at church, pick a um, an older woman that is discipling you, like pick anybody that knows the truth and will remind you of the truth and they will not tell you lies the last thing you want is somebody who sees you on the ground and says it's okay keep laying there keep being sad keep being depressed keep with these feelings keep believing these lies that are fueling these negative feelings within you and they don't try to help you that is the last friend if you have a friend like that in your life and they are enabling you to be a depressed person cut them out, get them out of there, or tell them if you don't stop enabling this in my life, like we just can't anymore. And I know that's hard, but you cannot have somebody that enables you to feel bad all the time. But yeah, so those were just practical tips that I have for depression. I will have a part two um, on spiritual tips on just biblical truth to help dig you out of your depression. If you're watching this video like way later after it's posted and that part two is there, then I'm gonna link it down here. So check the link description because yeah, it's coming out like the following week. So make sure to check that out. So make sure to give me a thumbs up if this video was helpful for you at all. Make sure to comment below any of the tips that I've said that do help you. Maybe if there's some physical tips that I didn't list in this video that you have found to be helpful for you, make sure to put that in the comment and other people can also, um, you know, pull from that as well. I love you guys. 